Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I am in a very, very interesting place that I did not know was even possible or existed. And one of my guildies decided to show me that. So huge shout out to Zuglass uh, on last Thursday. Every night, he just turns on his Discord and says, hey guys, look where I am. And it turns out he was in a very unique spot that I didn't even know you could get. And it is going to be the Caverns of Time. So it is available. We are here in Season of Discovery, which is very, very very interesting because it puts you know a little thought to the towards the future but before we get in the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so as i mentioned we are within caverns of time it is the same long windy road that we normally see and it takes you pretty deep um i haven't explored too much with it here i only watched him do it so you just have the normal spot i will say that the invisible walls are not there so if you were to jump into one of these windowsills and then jump out into the i guess space or twisting nether whatever this is um you will fall through the map and you will get stuck so you'll have to use the character unstuck service because that's what he had to do um, it was very uh, interesting, so I not recommend jumping out that way. But as you can see, it is just the normal long pathway here. Now, what is super interesting about this is that it means the zone is developed and they could add things to it. There's literally just an invisible barrier, which is that rock that guards the gate. So if you, you can do a few tricks to sort of bypass it involving some jump arounds, warlocks fearing you... Uh, priest fearing you things like that but all in all the zone is here and it is relatively complete similar to what we see in later expansions with like these camps and stuff and then we have the giant uh you know middle section here now what i'm super super interested in is we have three portals so normally in tbc we have uh black morass here we have battle for mount hyjal as the raid and then we have escape for Dernhold keep now what's super interesting is their positioning with them so the hyjal portal and the black morass portal are there right here is where we see a cooling of Stratholme, but obviously that's nowhere near ready to be put in and then we head all the way over here and what's super super cool is if you look right here you can faintly see the instance portal for black morass so this is the black morass area this is a portal that takes you to it and it's just really interesting to see that this portal is here now i will test it for you and show you that going into it uh does nothing unfortunately but as we can faintly see this portal is right here and it is like an instance portal so seeing these portals around gives you an idea that maybe they could use them for something else but as you can see it just takes you to the invisible barrier that is present so black morass does not work um and what i it gives me the, an idea that maybe just maybe they could develop this into a uh you know caverns of time for season of discovery whether we just simply get high battle for mount hajal black morass you know different things with a spin on it the zone is here the area is here and that means you have potential to add new content because what they've done in sod for the most part because they lack an art team and development team they've just sort of repurposed assets and reused them well here we have a massive cavern where you can do a whole bunch of things like the, the structures are here the design is here um this is the pathway that leads to battle for mount hyjal normally and as you can see there's also an instance portal here which is pretty cool so we're gonna go in here but to me i really think that we have you know three instance portals inside of the caverns of time as well as a fully developed zone that we could make use of there is so many possibilities because you know you have the entire story of world of warcraft you have the future that you can go to even now in season of discovery because we know what's coming um there's just a whole lot that they could seriously add with the Caverns of Time. And uh, I would really, really love to see it be added. And normally where the hourglass is, it's just literally a straight up pile of sand, which looks pretty cool. 
And now this one over here. So normally you have escape from Darnhold Keep, right? And you have, uh, that is usually right here. And when we come all the way over here, this part is nothing. And it is really interesting because, like, you see a broken, like, pirate ship and stuff like that. And then we keep coming all the way back here. And we can see that there is a sort of really weird, like, dark portal looking object all the way back here and it leads to something that we don't know like this is not where escape from Dernhold keep is in later versions of the game so this one is specifically makes me think that we might have a new something and use of caverns of time coming into the game it's just right here uh, as you can see we go in it doesn't say you need to be 70 to enter it doesn't say anything like that but it is a fully developed portal and so that's why, like, I it gets to my brain wondering. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go hop on the Cataclysm server and fly down here just to show you exactly what I mean after giving you that tour. It'll be a lot quicker because we'll be able to fly through it. Um, you cannot mount here because it, it shows it as inside, which is really, really weird. But anyway, I'm going to hop on Cat and show you the tour and show you exactly what I mean. So I'll see you when we get there. Voop! Alrighty guys, so we're here on the Cataclysm Realm. As you can see, the asteroids and space dust are the same as usual. Um, we're flying down all the way here. And we are going to do a little quick tour of all the zones that are here on Cataclysm, opposed to the ones on Sod. So right here, this is Cooling of Strathholm. Uh, this is obviously just a rock. I pointed that out in Sod. Black Morass is right here, obviously more developed. You can see people doing stuff with that. And the portal is right here to go into it. Then we continue along our way. This is uh, Well of Eternity, so this does not... Um, this is just not in there. That is a Cataclysm thing that gets added. Over here is actually Escape from Dernhold Keep. I said this was Hyjal, so I was a little mistaken with that. Um, you can tell by the color of the portals, but pretty cool to see it fully developed here. Then the next one, and now this is where I was mistaken, because this is actually Battle for Mount Hyjal, and we're able to tell that by the green portal. And as you can see, it is in the exact same place and area that you go with actually the exact same portal. The only difference is that is a green raid portal instead of a blue portal in Season of Discovery. So essentially, the three portals that are there are the three TBC portals that we see. However, I do believe that there is still hope that we could see some new stuff in Season of Discovery as as well just because the zone is there and I don't think it's normally there um, then this is in time over here which is a cataclysm dungeon as well but that is the full tour of the caverns of time I just wanted to take the time to show you all of the fun stuff and you know do a little research and stuff so we're right with our theories but once again I had no idea that caverns of time was available and that you could even go there in season of discovery so seeing that development is really cool and gives me hope even if the three portals are exactly black morass um battle for hillsbrad and or not battle for hillsbrad escape from dern hold keep and then um the raid with hyshal it really is pretty cool gets to bring going i had no idea that you could access it there in sod so really cool stuff i would love to hear what you guys have to think about it if you think we could get new content or if you know you've known that we can go there the whole time and it's just simply the blueprint for what it comes in tbc but anyway it just, it just got me super excited and had the brain juices flowing so it was really cool to see that and anyway that's it for this video and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye Hey you. Yes you. Are you still there? Well, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye bye.